Hi, my name is Jack. I'm a recreation leader with the City of Los Alamitos Recreation Department. And this is the second video in a two-part video series on solving a Rubik's Cube. We're going to be starting with the first two layers already solved. So if you haven't followed the directions and watched the first video, go ahead and do that and come back. I'm going to be showing you guys how to solve the last layer of the Rubik's Cube, which actually solves the entire puzzle. Okay, so we have the first two layers solved here. We're holding it with the yellow center on the top and the white face on the bottom. So the first step to solving the last layer is we're gonna just be looking at the edge pieces here on the yellow face. So you could have three different things. So the first thing is you might have none of them are up and you just have the yellow center. Don't worry about the corners. So you might just have the yellow center. If that's the case, what you're gonna do is you're gonna move the front face whatever from whatever angle and you're gonna move that up to the left kind of, so clockwise. And then if you remember, we're gonna do that left, or sorry, the right algorithm, that right uh, set of moves. So we're going to move the top out, move the right up, move the top in, and move the right down. And after we do that, we're gonna move the face back counterclockwise. So the second thing that you might have is you might have just the two edge pieces there. And if that's the case, you wanna hold it so that's horizontal, so it's a horizontal line if they're across from each other. And you're gonna do it the same thing that we just did. So the front face goes up clockwise, and then we're gonna do that right-handed algorithm where top goes out, right up, top goes in, and the right down. And then we're gonna move this face back counterclockwise. The last thing you might have is you might have two edges, but they're kind of diagonal from each other. And if that's the case, you wanna hold it so that one is on top and the other one is on the left. And then we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna first move the front face up and then we're gonna do that right-handed sequence. And then move that face back. And then we have our yellow cross. Okay, so the next step, once we have our yellow uh, cross up here, is we want to take the edge pieces and we want them to all be matching colors with the centers. So what, I'm, what I mean by that is, see how this edge piece is yellow on the top, which matches with the yellow center, and the other side of it is green, which matches with the green center. We want all four sides to be like that. So we're gonna try to match up as many as we can just by moving this top one around. So here we go, so we have the blue one is matched and the red one is matched. So you're either gonna have none of them are matched or two of them are matched or all four of them are matched. If all four of them are matched, then you can kind of skip this part and wait till the next part. And if none of them are matched, then you're gonna just do this uh, next sequence just from facing anywhere as long as yellow is on top. If you have two like mine here, you're gonna hold it so that one of them is in the back and one of them is on the right side. And you are gonna do this sequence. The right side is gonna come up and then the top is gonna move to the left and the right side is gonna go down. The top moves to the left again. Then the right side comes up and then the top side is gonna move twice back into that spot and then the right is gonna come down. And now all of the edge pieces should be matching colors so they're all matched. So this one is orange, matches with the orange center, blue with the blue, red with the red, green with the green, and our yellow cross is still there. So the, uh, one of the last steps for solving the cube is now we're looking at our corner pieces. So we're gonna see if any of them are in the right spot right now, and it doesn't look like any of mine are, so, but what I mean by that is, see how this one is the yellow, blue, and red corner, but it's in between blue and orange, so that one's not in the right spot. This one is orange and blue and yellow, and it does have blue there, but the orange does not match with the red. This one is the yellow, orange, and green. And it's between the yellow, green, and red. So none of mine match. If yours does match, then just have it on the right side. And what we're gonna do is this sequence. And if all four of yours are matched, then just hold on and we'll solve it on the next spot. You got really lucky. Um, what you're gonna do here is you're going to move the top to the left, move the right side up, move the top to the right, then move the left side up, and then you're gonna move the top to the left, move the right side down, and then you're going to take the top, move it to the right, and move the left side 
down. And one of mine just got in the right spot. So this one is in the right spot because it's green, orange, and yellow. This one's still not in the right spot because it's red and that doesn't match with the orange. This one's not in the right spot because it has the green. This one's not in the right spot. So we're gonna do it again. This one is in the right spot. So we're gonna hold it on the right and we're gonna do the same thing again. So we're gonna move the top to the left. The right goes up. The top goes to the right. The left comes up. The top goes to the left. The right side goes down. The top goes to the right and the left goes down. So now, looks like all of mine are in the right spot, but they're still not oriented properly, but they're still, it's still the right piece. This one is the green, red, and yellow, and it's between the green, red, and yellow. This one's the yellow, red, and blue, and it's between the yellow, red, and blue. So now all our corners are in the right spots, and yeah. So the very last step to solving our cube is, so we're gonna make sure, so all of our corners are the right corners, but for demonstration purposes, none of mine are oriented properly with the yellow facing up. You might have one or two or maybe three um, oriented properly, but just so I can show you guys how to put the corners uh, oriented properly, I'm going to have none of mine are uh, put there properly. So what you're gonna do is you're actually going to flip the cube upside down with the white facing the front. And let's just say have the red side facing you the entire time for this last step. So just have this is always gonna be facing you from now on until this uh, cube is solved. So we're gonna take this corner here and we're basically just gonna do that right-handed algorithm until this one is with the yellow on the bottom. So we're just gonna do that out, up, in, down. And now we're just gonna do it again. Out, up, in, down. It's still not there, we'll do it again. Out, up, in, down. Still not there. Out, up, in, down. And we just got it, so that one's there now. So once you have a corner in, we'll just put another corner that's ready to get switched. So now that one's down there. Now we're gonna do the right-handed algorithm again. Out, up, in, down. Still not there, we'll do it again. Out, up, in, down. Now that one's solved, so we're gonna move to the next corner. Now the next corner is in our spot. We'll do the right-handed algorithm. Out, up, in, down. We'll do it again. Out, up, in, down. We'll do it again. Out, up, in, down. We gotta do it another time. Out, up, in, down. And that one's solved. Now we have one corner left, so we're gonna put that one in our spot. And we're gonna do that right-handed algorithm. Out, up, in, down. Do it again. Out, up, in, down, and now your cube is solved. So there you go. I hope you were able to successfully solve your Rubik's Cube. You can practice doing it as fast as you can, memorizing all the different uh, sequences that you need to use, and you know, timing yourself to see if you can you know, beat your highest time and whatnot. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. For more fun videos, follow us on our social media pages and visit our virtual community center at cityoflosalamitos.org slash recreation.